Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Taylor Mays. I'm a third year uh, public school elementary teacher. I teach fourth grade, um, and we are super excited to be here. Um, I'm here with a couple of my fellow teachers. Miss Molly Cooper. Hello. And Miss Kirsten Berry. Hey, hey. Yep. So we are just here for support. Um, we love public education and fund our schools. Woo. Red for Red. Woo woo. Standardized testing at least um, by opinion. Testing. Yeah, for teaching, less testing. More teaching, less testing. Yep, get the politics out of my classroom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unless they want to come in the classroom, you know. Fun but the arts, please. Yep, for fun the arts. arts. Gym teachers. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Private education gets funded from public resources, and yes. I don't think that's okay. Agreed. So. A uh, salary schedule needs to be reintroduced as well. There's a six-year teacher over there who's making the exact same amount as me as a third-year teacher, and we don't think that that's fair. Um, it's not retaining teachers. Um, also, the 15-hour externship is a little ridiculous. Um, because I don't have... <laughs> I don't have 15 to hours, yeah, <laughs> to do that. To my life. So, What's yeah. We are supposed to be going to other businesses, like a small business, for 15 hours of our own personal time. And basically do community service work yes. for 15 hours before we can renew our license. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to, um, and that was brand new just a couple months ago. They introduced it to us. So we uh, we don't like we that very no much. We say no to that. We say no to that. <laughs> but we love our students and we love being teachers. So hopefully yeah. something good will work out from this. <laughs> Yeah. 
My name is Drew Wilson. I'm a music teacher in uh, secondary education in Hancock County in Indiana. And um, I'm just here to stand up for kids. I think uh, that our education system right now is not doing a great job to support kids and their actual needs. And it's um, really uh, being shifted into more of a political arena. And um, that's not great for kids and it's not great for our future. Hi, I'm Clint Carter. I've been teaching public school for 25 years, 20 years with Indianapolis Public Schools. Uh, this 
district uh, wisely decided to, to uh, rearrange the schedule so we could all be out here today. I've been out here since about 7.30 this morning, handed out uh, leaflets to legislators and other people that were going in the building, just giving them uh, you know, some basic info as to why we're here. Um, obviously, our biggest concern is that Indiana, for about the last 15 years, has been consistently changing the standards and cutting back on funding and increasingly giving more and more testing and what could basically be defined as unreasonable assessment procedures, I guess, would be the rational way to put it. Um, none of this does any good and most of us are of the pretty strong opinion that this is all just to justify lower you know lower funded schools and you know more ways to get private education being promoted and things like that and in the end of course the only people who are going to suffer are going to be the students and i said it's been about 15 years and I mean, do the quick math on that. That's an entire generation of kids that went through school grossly underfunded and without having the proper tools available to them. And, you know, it's it's been said for here in Indiana for a long time, the number one thing we export is, is college graduates, and we need to start getting a better educated workforce as far as I'm concerned. So... I'm hoping this does a little bit of good. The few people that I did speak with uh, this morning as they were going in were polite and friendly. Hopefully that actually means something <laughs> afterwards. Reform, redistricting, reform, school funding. 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 I'm Leanne Blackerby, and I teach at Madison Consolidated Schools down in Madison, Indiana. Uh, 27 year teacher. 25 of those in English. This is my second year teaching culinary. One of the great reasons to make the switch, all this ridiculous testing. I've had sophomores most of my career. We got to the point where we're doing 10 standardized tests a year. 27 days lost to testing or practice for testing. All of the stuff that goes with it. Cookie cutter curriculum, things that are not helping the kids. So I still get to teach in a great school system that, who loves our kids. But I got out of it because it's ridiculous. Uh, my name is Meredith Blackerby. I teach in Columbus, Indiana, BCSC. I'm at CSA Fadria and CSA Lincoln. I'm the art teacher, so I split my time 50-50 between both schools. Um, I absolutely love being a teacher. I'm very, very passionate about it. I'm here for that exact reason. Um, I don't have to deal hands-on with tests because you know, we don't do standardized tests in art, but I still have to see the toll that it takes on my students every day. You know, they come to my classroom after all of the standardized, te standardized testing, and I can just see how it wears on them just emotionally and even physically. Um, and I just love my students so much, and I don't, I don't like to see them going through that. And so I'm here for them, and I'm here for me, and I'm here for all my coworkers. And yeah, we're having a good time today. So I, I feel very fortunate that I, I get more funding than a normal teacher just because I am in the related arts and, um, you know, it's still not a lot, uh, but I, I do get more than the average teacher. I think the teachers at my school get $100 per year for their whole classroom, which is, I mean, barely anything. So um, I'm, you know, I'm glad that I can get things done with the amount that I'm given, but uh, I could certainly do much, much better things for my students with better funding. And I'm a former local president, and it's ridiculous how, of course, the, the, those who have more get more, those who have less make do with less and get less again. And that's where we're coming from. We keep at being asked to do more with less. Our kids keep being asked to do more with less. And it's a struggle all the way around. We're seeing the same thing everybody else is, crumbling buildings, systems that don't work, all of the support that should be there for the kids is not even though we try. We've got a great system who tries to pull together 
but at the state level, we're not getting what we need. Part of what we're hoping for is the public support so that they understand that this is not just about teacher raises, even if you've been eight years without a raise at one point in your career. Not fun, but it's not devastating. What's devastating is the fact that we do have so many unrealistic expectations and it needs to it needs to stop it needs to change and so we want public support of course realizing this is for the kids as much or more than it is for the teachers who serve them uh, I mean yeah all that double for sure and um, it really is awesome being here and seeing that it's not just a couple people who feel this way. I mean, there's, what, over 15,000 people here today. It's really awesome getting to meet new teachers, new educators, and people from, you know, all over Indiana, all walks of life, who all share these same ideas and are, are all out here for our kids. It doesn't matter, you know, if you've been teaching one year or 50 years. We're here because we love what we do and we love our students. So, yeah.